Hi, hi everyone, welcome to Eden Secrets. So I've got a, it's not a new soap, it's an old soap that I've titivated up a little bit. Um, and this is Peach Chiffon. It has a very, very slight scent of peach, not a lot, but it, it much more, this smells like um, sugar frosting, not cheese frosting, um, cream cheese frosting or butter icing it's not like that it's just really is like icing sugar <laughs> um and it really is one of my favorite smells as well and as you can see on the top of there it's got some um orange segments made out of melt and pour soap now what happened was because i'm now using the wooden molds the soap gets a lot hotter inside. So for the very first time, my embeds melted on the top and that's what's happened here. Um, but I'm really, I like the fact that it's getting really hot. But luckily enough, um, this morning, I just took the top off to see what it was looking like. And um, this was still soft, so I managed to squeeze some oranges back in there i'll be back in a second okay hi hi i'm back sorry about that just had a phone call to answer so um yeah i can't even remember what i said in the the first part of this video um except that this is just a really delicious sweet edible gorgeous scent that smells of sugar frosting and it's nice and strong and the lovely Jocelyn gosh we do miss her from Love Soaping uh, she bought me all these moulds absolutely crazy i know tell me about it um she bought me all these molds she literally bought me about 20 of them um, i'll just show you one um, i haven't got round to washing them yet but I mean, they're not ideal, these plastic ones. They're much better if you can get silicon. But I absolutely love the, the, the decoration on them. It just makes them look a lot more real. And they look really effective on the soap. So that's the only difference with this love compared to the last ones we did. Is that they've got the orange segments on the top and it does have a slightly peachy orange note to it but as I say not a lot not a lot the other thing I thought I'd do I know I've given you the measurements of my um, moulds, but I, I thought I haven't given you the measurements of the soap. So I'm just going to do that now. Someone had mentioned the other day that they'd asked the size of a slice of soap. And someone didn't want to share that with them and I, I couldn't think why anyone wouldn't want to share the size of a slice so i'm just going to show you exactly how big mine are so in inches going from left to right this is 3.4 and then the height so the highest point is three inches and then the width is one and a half inches and if we do that in centimeters we're talking eight centimeters 
by just over eight and a half centimeters by just over three centimeters. So that's the size of a slice from Eden Secret. Um, probably most of my slices are going to be very, very similar now. Um, now that I'm making them all in these long loaves. And I've had quite a few cock-ups over the last week, quite a few. So I'm also going to create a listing uh, for cock-ups, um, which I've been really, really disappointed about. And it's whenever I change my batch, even if I go to the measurements suggested, it still doesn't work out exactly how I want it to. Then I got a new fragrance. Um, I've literally made six batches of this soap, not this one, another one. It's I'm going to soap it again in a minute, but I'm terrified to even attempt it because it's not worked six times. Um, I got my fragrance from a different supplier, um, so I'm crossing my fingers that it's going to work this time. And that's that's the the big loaf there. And I'm only going to cut this in half so that we've got a loaf. If people want to buy a whole loaf, they can. And I call a whole loaf half of this, not the whole thing, because the whole thing is three kilos and that is six pound in weight okay so there you go this is my peach chiffon soap i've been trying to think of a new name for it because i love the the chiffon part and i call it peach really because it's peachy colored but now it's got the orange slices in the top I'm wondering if peach chiffon is the is the right name to use. Um, if anyone's got any suggestions that I like, um, please write them down in the comments below, and I might just use the name you suggest. There we are. Peach chiffon. I'm really pleased I put these orange segments in. In Melton Paw, I love the contrast of the Melton Paw with the cold process. I know some people would never put Melton Paw with cold process, and that's fair enough. Um, but I really like it. I think it looks really, really good. Right, I'll see you next time. Have a great day, everyone. And I haven't forgotten that I'm going to do some cakes. I am going to video myself making a cake today from start to finish. So the next video you see after this one will be a new cake. I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye for now.